Hello, welcome to another episode of Wicked Easy Cooking. Today we're gonna to make homemade guacamole. Wicked easy, quick, and delicious. So let's get started. So what exactly is guacamole? Well, it's a avocado-based dip, spread, or salad, depending on how you use it, that has avocados as its primary ingredient. And it was the Aztecs who first whipped up a batch of guacamole back in the 14th century, though in Mexico they've been uh, cultivating avocados for 10,000 years. And when the Spanish came there to, to Mexico, they saw them using the traditional mortar and pestle to make their guacamole. Now avocados are nutrient rich and about 75% fat, though majority of that is monounsaturated. They're also full of minerals, potassium, and a surprising amount of fiber. Now when you make guacamole, you wanna use the freshest ingredients possible. So you wanna have ripe avocados, you wanna have limes, you know, we're gonna put some fresh garlic in it, and then just some seasonings as the base. And then if you wanna add other things, you can. I have the recipe here that I'm gonna make for you and I'll post at the end of the video. And it is a, you know, foundational, basic, classic, guacamole recipe but then from there once you feel comfortable go crazy you know you can add other things to it uh, tomatoes cilantro jalapenos i've even seen it with mayonnaise in it to smooth it out i've seen it with bacon in it chunks of mangoes so you can go wild once you have that foundational base recipe down pat now so guacamole is basically uh, a dip, but it can be used a lot of other ways. The reason I'm going to make mine, you know, kind of basic is because then I fill it into tacos where I'm already going to add my cilantro and I'm going to have corn and sour cream and pulled pork and other things in there. So I don't want to add all those ingredients into uh, the guacamole, but if you were going to use it as a dip, sure, throw in some salsa, chopped tomatoes, lots of cilantro, extra garlic, whatever you feel comfortable with. So let's make this basic recipe and let's get started on it right now. Okay, so you'll see here in this wicked easy homemade guacamole recipe, um, we're going to use uh, three avocados. Okay, I've already washed them. And we're going to work with those. And then we're going to have the juice of one lime or about two tablespoons of juice. And we're going to put in some minced garlic. I'm going to chop up one clove of that. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. And that'll be it. Now I'm going to be using Haas avocados. And these are named after a gentleman from California who was a mailman, uh, worked for the post office, and he patented it, in, I think, in 1936, so he gets his name on it. But there's other types of avocados out there. I actually have one out back in my house, and it's a, a derivative of this Haas variety, and I'll show you a picture of that. Okay, it's still a relatively new tree, uh, so I've only had one crop so far that had, you know, five or six avocados on it. But each year it's going to get bigger and bigger, and I'll be having my own. But these ones I purchased. So there's also Florida avocados, they call them, the different time. They're really large. Some people say they don't have as much flavor as these Haas ones, usually from California or Mexico. All right, so to work with an avocado, um, again, make sure you want to wash them. And then the best way to get the the uh, flesh out of it is to just cut it the long way, you know, and go all the way around the avocado. Then just give it a twist and you'll see it has a large pit in the middle of it. To get that pit out, you just take a chef's knife or a French knife, hit it into it, turn it, and it comes out attached to the knife. That's one of the easiest way and it leaves most of the flesh still inside of it. Now once you have this flesh, I just like to use a little knife and cut it, not through the skin, but just into the flesh, into like little cubes, little squares. Okay, and now when I take it out with my spoon, it's already gonna be chunked up for me. I don't have to mash it as much. Take a spoon and go inside that skin and just have it all pop right out. Okay, make sure you scrape it well because there's always some still attached to that skin of the avocado. So you just leave the outside flabby piece there. <clears throat> Okay, so inside the avocado, make lines both ways. I like to use a butter knife, so that way if it does happen to puncture the skin, it's not going to go into your hand. And then again, scoop it out. Very easy, very quick. So do a, two more of these, as it says in the recipe. It's three avocados for this recipe, uh, which is gonna make about a cup of yield for you. So again, we can 
go down through this it's pretty quick when you have the knife get in a spoon scoop it out and go right through it here again squeeze it make your lines and you can do this in a mortar and pestle if you choose i'm just going to mix it in a bowl here i don't really need to mash it up and this is something you got to watch for is the stem sometimes they come off and they end up in there so see they came right through it falls in there which not going to hurt you but it is kind of you know going to uh, make you chew on a little bit and you'd be like wondering what is that inside my avocado or my guacamole all right so i'm down to my last one and you can see with three avocados how much it made Again, take your knife, be careful with your hand, turn it, twist it, comes right out, use your knife, make your lines in there, and then just take your spoon, scoop it out, and it's already kind of cubed up for you. Now, you can make your avocado smooth if you want. Some people put it in a food processor, really want it smooth. I like mine chunky. I like to have those big chunks of avocados in there. So that really, um, I think, adds a lot of flavor when I'm sticking it inside of my uh, tortillas or even for a dip so we have these you can see this big, big chunks in there so that's going to be good now we're going to add our um, garlic to it so to have your garlic i got my little garlic cave here i'm just going to pull out it just says one clove so you break it from the head of garlic i'll use two because they're kind of small i have them right here and then Cut off the ends to it, it's very easy. And then a quick trick is just to press it with the knife. And that allows the moisture to come out and it's easy to peel. One, two. Oops, I might have left a little piece there. So there's my garlic. So you can see how easy that was to get those fresh cloves out. You don't need to use that jarred garlic or powdered garlic. Easy to do fresh. And just give it a couple of chops. And then what I like to do is take the blade of the knife or the flat side of the knife and just kind of smear it. And that's mashing the garlic, releasing a lot of its flavor. And, you know, you don't want to be chewing into the guacamole and bite into a big chunk of the garlic. You know, it can be, you know, kind of strong. So this way here it gets it kind of mashed and it helps it evenly distribute throughout the guacamole. So you take that, throw it in. Here we go, good. And then I'm gonna put a little salt in it right now just to get it started. And then we got the lime. So fresh lime juice, roll it onto the table. And this will help squish down those little vestibules, those little segments inside of it. It'll make it easier to juice for you. So again, roll it, pressing down before you go and cut it. And you can see it's kind of soft now. Let me just take a thing through it and then just squeeze it all through it. Again, about two tablespoons. So if you've got a lime that has a lot of juice in it, usually one will do it. But sometimes you get those ones that are a little mealy, has less juice in it. So you might need to use more than one or maybe you have one of those really large limes and you can get a lot of juice out of it. So this one's plenty for me. So this is again, a good foundational base for you. Just has lime juice and garlic and the guacamole i mean the uh, avocado to make this guacamole no tomatoes no salsa none of that which is fine to put in it's kind of like a filler so it'll stretch it a lot more i'm just going to give that a little mix Add a little bit of black pepper now to it and then just give it one last stir and that's it. I like it nice and chunky like that. You could put this on a BLT. You could put this on a sandwich as a spread rather than using mayonnaise or mustard if you wanted. You could just put chunks of this onto a salad if you wanted to use it. Or, like I said, I use it that way to put it into um, my taco. Ooh, got a little stem there. Okay, and that's it. Now we just want to taste it and correct seasoning if need to. I'm going to use the same spoon here. Mmm. Mm, the fresh lime is good. Touch more salt. And that's it. Now, I like to make it as close to service time as possible. I think it's the freshest flavor there. Plus, you know, avocados will turn brown over time. They oxidize like an apple or a potato. So, using, making it fresh or closest to the meal period helps with that. But if you do want to refrigerate it and want to let those flavors blend a little bit, 
A good trick to use is some people say you could put the pits back in, you know, a couple of those, which kind of helps it from turning brown. But I think a bigger, a better way to do it is to use some plastic wrap and make sure you push it down so it, that it touches the actual guacamole. And that way there, it prevents the air from getting to it. So open it up and then not just across the top, like you would if you were closing up a bowl like that, but to push it down inside so the plastic wrap actually touches the guacamole. And that way there, the air can't get to it or not very easily. And this will prevent it from oxidizing and turning brown until you're ready to serve it. So you can see there, I pushed it down really close to it. So there's no air between the plastic wrap and the guacamole and it provides like a skin, you know, a surface to it. And then I would probably put one on the up top as well. So it doesn't fall into it if it, while it's stored in the refrigerator if I want it. So there we go. Easy, fast, delicious, quick avocado, garlic, lime, salt and pepper to make guacamole that everyone's gonna love. So definitely try this at home, get some guac, uh, some avocado, especially when they're on sale and make this thing, everybody's going to love it. Okay, one quick way to use your guacamole once you have it all done is to serve it with some chips. So you could make them individual little bowls here for people, give them a little bit of tortilla chips, corn chips, whatever you like. These happen to be scoops, which I really like, because then you can get some of that guacamole inside there like a little you know bowl or a little cup for it eat them that way anyway thanks for watching please tune in again if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button hit the like button and share this with your friends thanks now bye bye <laughs>